Hi folks, Sean here with another figure review, this time of Mattel's Movie Master's Man of Steel Superman figure. This looks like a job for Superman. Alright, so here we have the Man of Steel Superman. Uh, details are very nice. I remember in the prototype figure, uh, the head sculpt looked a little better, but uh, I feel like this is pretty good as well. And also I remember uh, his suit wasn't textured in the prototype figure and it was also the colors were on the suit a little brighter. I do like this figure a lot. Uh, it was actually one of my favorite movie masters because I'm a huge Superman fan. Uh, the cape is nice and not as hard as like uh, I'd say the Dark Knight figures. They're a little less pliable but this is big and billowy and super movable and whatnot. Um, there's a 360 of them. I love the head sculpt and the hair. It looks nice. The hair sculpt is great. Um, also the little like, uh, I don't know how you would, chain mail like riveting on him is nice as well and the paint details are great. How uh, it's not just blue, he also has some kind of like silver and golds in there and of course the red and, and the yellow and the S is metallic and shiny which is nice. I don't know if the camera's picking that up as well but also there's also kind of like a metallic tinge to the uh, silverish blue on the um, like highlights right here. Back to the face sculpt, uh, the eyes are painted really well and I'd say the likeness to Henry Cavill is pretty spot on. Not as spot on as the prototype figure but this is just as well. Uh, he has some kind of like 5 o'clock shadow going on, like a uh, shading around his face which adds kind of a nice little detail, I mean, I, I can't complain, but some of the figures have it darker than others, which uh, maybe you might need to uh, fix in quality control, because sometimes it <laughs> some of the figures look like they haven't, like, I don't know, slept in days because the 5 o'clock shadow on them was too dark. The thing I like most about the uh, details on this figure is, like, it gives you a chance to, like, look at the whole suit, like, before the movie comes out, and, like... I didn't, like, with all the production photos and stuff, I don't think I've ever seen, like, the back of the suit, and this looks pretty cool. Uh, one thing that I don't like about this figure is that Mattel left out the, like, ab crunch right here, and I think that was kind of a mistake on their part, because he, it, like, limits his posability a little bit. I mean, they're, the NECA, NECA has the Man of Steel license as well, and they are, uh, coming out with a figure similar to this one, with a worse head sculpt, I'd say. And, uh, they have an ab crunch, which I feel like this figure could easily have. So for articulation, this figure's arms can go forward and back and in and out, rotates at the bicep, bends at the elbow, rotates at the wrist, uh, head goes back and forth, up and down, uh, swivel at the waist, um, legs go forward and back, in and out, uh, bends up the knee, swivels up the upper thigh, and there is an ankle pivot. Now for accessories, this figure only came with a display base, which, uh, you know, isn't that great of an accessory, but I do know that Mattel is releasing another Man of Steel Superman where he comes with a Kryptonian command key, which I can only assume is, uh, the key that he uses to get into the Fortress of Solitude. A display base isn't a great accessory, but you know, at least Mattel isn't jacking up the prices for some kind of build-up figure piece like with the Dark Knight Rises line. This, what I like about this figure is that it is in scale with other movie masters, so you can get dynamic poses with like the world's finest going on and Batman Superman covers. The Man of Steel figures are a little bit taller than the Dark Knight figures, which I figured is okay because I always pictured Superman as being a little bit taller than Batman anyway. So overall, I would like this figure a lot. Uh, the only complaints I have are that the cape is big and it looks nice, but it makes him a little back heavy. So sometimes when you're trying to pose him, he'll tend to fall back or fall forward. Um, I don't know what Mattel could have done to fix that. I guess another thing is that like since it like billows between his legs, it kind of forces his legs to be apart, and his legs like are flat, so they're gonna want to be like at an at like an angle rather than flat on the like on the surface. So that also causes him to fall a lot. 
and I'd say just the app crunch is another complaint. I wish this figure had one of those, but I guess I can see where they left it out, because even if you did have the app crunch, his cape would like probably stick straight out and that would look silly. I guess one thing that Mattel could do to kind of fix that is stop giving us these vinyl capes and give us some cloth capes. I know there's a lot of customs out there of people who customize their figures to have cloth capes, which I think those look nice, but it would be nice if these figures had cloth capes as well. Alright, that's pretty much it for this review. Catch you next time. You will give the people an ideal to strive towards. They will race behind you. They will stumble. They will fall.